Gail says, what training tools do you recommend for HBSS and, a and ACAS for someone moving into DOD information system security positions? Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so HBSS is basically McAfee, EPO, and ACAS is Nessus. So Nessus, you can actually get for free off of Nessus, it's off Tenable's website and download it on your computer and start messing around with it. And HBSS, I'm not sure if you can get free training off of off HBSS, the, but the best training tools will probably be the, on the DOD sites. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. The DOD has some really good training for HBSS, and it's I believe it's on DISA. What, let me see, ACAS training. It's on a DISA site, I believe. Yep, there it is. I think this is, unless it's just spamming me with, nonsense let me show you what i'm talking about here on the screen so all i did was i typed in i went to a search engine i typed in acast training and you'll see disa.mil training and they have a ton of free training for you that's not accessible to anybody outside of the military or federal government this is not the site okay let me show you they have so much training on this stuff i believe they may even have an emas training yeah, here's a lot of the training right here. Let me see, cyber training. Let's see if we can find specifically ACAS. Let me see, ACAS. Let's see if we can find it. I'm pretty sure, like, you might even have access to a search results. If you have access to a federal site, then you should actually go train, go look for this yourself. Cause I have a limited, I don't have access to these sites. So I have limited, limited access to these sites, but yeah, here's ACAS access to ACAS stuff, posters and ACAS technical training, man, this is not see us public people, <laughs> us mere civilians don't have access to the stuff that you have training, but they have, they're going to have the best training for you. EPO, let's see, EPO, no, it's called HBSS. Oh, that's the wrong search. Let me see. HBSS. I know whenever I worked for the government, they had so much training for ACAS and HBSS. It was ridiculous because they're working directly with the companies and the companies give them these crazy deals on training like th hundreds of thousands of dollars in training that that's out there for you that I, that is not accessible to the public. So I'm just on cyber.mills, public.cyber.mill, and I'm searching for training and you will probably see more results than I will. And if you have access internally to their sites, you will see way more stuff than me for their training. They have the best, they have the best training for sure. Look at this, HBSS, Agent Handler, Stig Memo. Yeah, this would be the best place to go to. They have guides, security guides, all everything. Benchmarks, the SCAP documentation, everything is gonna, you have the best access to, if, especially if you're already in ISO and you're working for the government, man, you have so much training that you, I would take full advantage of it. But it's probably more than likely on your internal network. It's not going to be accessible to me, to the public. That being said, though, if you happen to be public, all he's talking about, ACAS is just tenable. So if you go to tenable, tenable Nessus, there's a free downloadable that you can get for, I don't know, 14 days or something. You can download. What site is this? So the first site I was on, it's on public.cyber.mil. This site is tenable and you can get Nessus for free for seven days or something. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is right here. You can try it right here. There it is. That's tenable, which is Nessus or some variant of Nessus. Here it is right here. And the other one is called EPO. EPO, EPO. It's called McAfee. EPO. 
the government called it HBSS because it's a contract that, that McAfee won. McAfee Epo. Ebo. McAfee Ebo. <laughs> yeah, so here's the security protection, McAfee security protection software that no, this is for the general public. So they <laughs> The government has some sort of hot, they're using like the enterprise version of, of McAfee's best security product. And I'm looking for that. It's called ePolicy Orchestrator. I believe this is it right here. This is what the government has. This is not a secret. I'm not giving away the government's secrets. This is publicly available information, but I don't know if you can get this product for free to train on it. But if you can, you could just load it up on your computer and start messing around with it. The, the tenable one, you definitely can. And somebody said, MD says, most of the government trainers training requires government supervision approval. Yeah, true. Yep, some of it does. I remember there was, ACAS is a plug-in for Nessus. Ah, okay. Thank you for clarifying that, MD. I appreciate that. So ACAS is a plug-in in the Nessus scan options. All right, there you go right there. Thank you. Appreciate that. And I believe you can get access. Thank you. Somebody on TikTok. Holy crap, man. This is crazy. You guys, you guys, man, there's, there's some people who's connected here. Somebody said public.cyber.mail. Thank you for that, Brian. I appreciate that. That's the site right there. Yeah. If you go there, but internally, like Miguel, if you go internally, you'll find way more resources that we have access to. You'll actually find that ACAS plug in more than likely if you're an ISO and you could, if I were you, I would ask my supervisor, I say, look, I want to get access to this EPO. I want to get access to ACAS. I want to train on it and he'll hook you up because they want you to, the more you learn that they, they're hungry for people who want to learn, who want to get off TikTok for a little bit and actually learn some stuff, read some books. 